What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading. Caps to decide to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 12,498 subscribers. So th thanks so much. We're a couple away from 12,500. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. I'm going to make this the daily tea for May 9th of 2022. Uh, it's the daily tea. It's a little different than my other readings. It's more general current fling of the energy. It's supposed to resonate 24 to 72 hours out from the time that you view it. However, everyone's on different time of life paths. So, so for some of you guys, it can resonate outside the 72 hour time frame. For a lot of these situations, I feel it will, will resonate outside the 72-hour time frame, just being for real according to the channel message. But this is the Daily Tea for May 9th of 2022. Hope everybody is doing well. For real, for real, for real. Okay, so the channel message I received was um, someone is about to ask um, their spouse for a divorce. I heard of um, a, a lot of wealth there, and I heard Bible Belt region. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, through many series of chain events, a spouse is about to ask another spouse for a divorce. Whoever these this married, legally married couple is, um, there's a lot of wealth there. So I don't know if they both work or one's very successful or they're both successful or what have you. But Or maybe they're trust fund babies or what have you, but there's a lot of wealth there. However, that resonates. And I heard Bible Belt region. So I think this wealthy, legally married, wealthy couple resides in a Bible Belt region in some shape, form, or fashion. So you plug it in, how it resonates. I feel guided to use Kipper for this. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Divorce energy coming. Spirit messages you have for the practice. And this particular wealthy couple, um, like I said, I don't know if they both work, one works, what have you, but um i i pretty strongly feel they reside in the um bible belt region or they used to reside in the bible belt region somehow the bible belt region is significant to this wealthy couple so i don't know if they're from the bible belt region currently reside in the bible belt region or know someone from the bible belt region maybe you know maybe you're connected to this wealthy couple and you reside in the bible belt region you plug it in how it resonates we have gift upright and coffin upright. Number 17 or 19 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 17 or 19. This could be possible ages of children of this wealthy couple. If they have children, I didn't hear they did or not. Um, it could be possible lottery numbers, possible day of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, number 17 or 19. Gift upright. There has been a lot of fights about money in this married couple's life and about one particular illegal business of the past. The gifts have been ending. The favors have been ending. This relationship is toast. Oh, my Lord. You plug it in. How it resonates. Whoa. So somehow this wealthy couple that possibly resides in the Bible Belt region or not, um, they were they're connected or it sounds like they were connected to an illegal business of the past but it doesn't sound as like this illegal business of the past is up and running anymore or they're not connected to it anymore how that resonates but however that resonates i heard the gifts are ending the favors are ending and basically it's um i think the gifts are ending to this wealthy couple the favors are ending to this wealthy couple i think it's connect, connected to this illegal business of the past they were connected to or up and ran and it's causing huge conflicts between the couple, but I think it's because of money. Um, I think their revenue's going down or their wealth is going down. Um, I think the illegal business made it go up. How this resonates. We have gift upright, but we have the coffin card with it. So according to the channel message, the gifts are ending, the favors are ending with this married couple i think people are not doing favors for this married couple anymore they're not giving them gifts anymore i think they're finding out that the illegal business of the past was indeed an illegal business of the past i think this married wealthy couple 
put on this huge ass facade like it wasn't an illegal business in the past, but in reality it was. That's what I'm feeling. Um, one of these people could be a Scorpio or have Scorpio in their chart or just Scorpionic energy. But we have the coffin card with the gift card, ending to the gifts, ending to the favors, ending to the illegal business of the past. And we have despair underneath that. Holy crap. Number 32 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 32 could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible day of birth number, possible green card number. Number 32, despair. Huge conflicts. Huge. Behind the scenes in private, but some of them have been in public. These two just cannot get along. It was all about money to begin with anyways. Oh my lord, lord, I heard huge conflicts, huge, behind, it sounds like they, all they do is fight, to be honest, it doesn't sound like there's any love there, um, it doesn't sound like, I heard it was about money to begin with, so it sounds like they got married because of money, um, and somehow this illegal, um, business, I think, fueled their love of being together because of love of money, but now the illegal business has ended, the gifts have ended, the favors have ended with them, and the energy shifted, it sounds like. So now they can't get along because it sounds like the only reason they got along in the past was because of money. It sounds like it was very materialistically driven, not love driven. So despair. These two are in despair. The marriage is in despair. I mean, it's up in shambles is what it is. It's, I feel a lot of money loss here. A lot. And through many shocking series of chain events, one of these people will end up in jail soon, probably prison down the line. And through many shocking series of chain events, one of these people will probably end up in jail soon and prison down the line. So there's some kind of criminal, I mean, the illegal business in itself was criminal activity. Um, just for real, for real. But it sounds like one of these people, I don't know if it's the man or the woman, or for some situations it can be man and man or woman and woman, but one of these spouses through many shocking series of chain events is about to end up in jail and then I heard prison down the line. So there's definitely some kind of criminal activity here. I'm feeling mafia energy. I'm feeling, I'm feeling mafia energy is what I'm feeling. I didn't hear that. I'm feeling mafia energy or, or heavy criminal behavior activity i don't i mean mafia or not whatever the hell it is um you plug it in how it resonates but they never got married for love anyways just for real, for real they never got married for love any freaking ways it was strictly about money period period point blank and now the true colors it sounds like are coming out in this married couple now if it's not you in this situation it could be somebody you're connected to but they never got married for love anyways. So I feel for some, they could have had side pieces on the side. And I didn't hear that they did. But I feel they could have. You know, like back in the day when the um, kings and queens got married. They were got married in the family to keep the money in the family. But in reality, the queen had 20 um, side dudes on the side. Through the hidden passages, through her chambers. The king had 50 side women on the uh, side through his secret passages in his chambers. I mean, they were married out in public to keep the money together. But they wasn't with each other sexually or emotionally. It was all about the damn money. Kind of the same thing. I didn't hear these people had side dudes or side um, chicks on the side. But I'm feeling they probably did because how, I mean, what? They're going to sit around celibate for the rest of their life and not be with their partner? No. No. I mean, celibacy is a choice. I'm celibate and I've been celibate for years freaking year, like three years, but it's celibacy, celibacy has been a choice for me and I'm legally single. So these people are legally married for the money, but I don't, I don't, obvi I mean, obviously they have big kahunas enough to have a damn illegal business in the past. So who's to say they wouldn't have big kahunas to have freaking five, 50 side chicks or side dudes on the side in the public, in their community, just saying, just saying.
Okay, I didn't hear anything else. I didn't hear anything else. I don't want to get too deep into this. Um, this is somebody's marriage we're talking about. I don't want to get too deep into it. Um, we'll pull one energy. But I will tell you, whoever this couple is, if you are connected to this couple or you are this couple, this couple never got married for love. Period. Period. Point blank. They never got married for love. Period. Strategy reversed. Number 21 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 21 could be a possible age of viewers, somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible day birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number. Number 21, strategy reverse. So many unexpected things have happened in finances in this marriage. So many negative, unexpected things. And more negative, unexpected things will happen. Universally, it's time. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. I suspected there was financial problems here, but that's confirmation from the spiritual realm. So I heard so many unexpected, negative financial mishaps have happened in this uh, marriage. So I think investments have tanked down. I heard specifically favors have ended. Favors have ended and gifts have ended. And um, I think to these two married people, whether it two women, two women, uh, two men or a man or a woman, um, I think people in the community aren't doing favors or giving them gifts anymore um, because they're learning the truth about this illegal business, the past. Um, and I feel this couple drug the community into this illegal business and lied to them is what I think. So now I heard it's universally time. It's universally time. And I heard they're going to have more financial mishaps down the line. So I think they're both going to fight over money and it's going to be a contested divorce. I don't feel it's going to be non-contested, which is going to cost them a shit ton of money and legal fees. Because trust me, I've been there with non-contested divorce. It's, it's very fucking expensive with a private lawyer with a lot of legal fees. Just for real, for real. Um, I didn't want a non-contested, but my ex-husband fought me on it. And so we did as a single woman working at Jack's. For seven fifty a freaking hour, I was going through a non-contested divorce. Just saying, just saying. And he was already living with somebody. I mean, how unfair was that? Just saying. But, you know, I'm not him. And we moved on. But anyway, so, um, yeah. So, um, I heard financial mishaps have already occurred in this marriage. More are about to occur. Universally, it's time to happen. So, it's time for the financial empire of this marriage, this loveless marriage, to basically crumble. Um, they did not have a strategy for this. They don't want this to happen. It was unexpected, shocking financial mishaps. So strategy reversed. More unexpected, shocking financial mishaps to come. Strategy reversed. Um, they don't want it to come. They're not going to have a strategy because I feel that they've already lost a lot of money. They're about to lose more is what I'm feeling. Yeah, we have all tied up on the bottom of that. So they feel all tied up. They feel miserable because they're stuck not only in a loveless marriage, but the money's going down. At one time, it was a loveless marriage, but the money was up, up, up. Now, hell, the re main reason it seems like they got married is not even fruitful anymore. So now they're just tied up, meaning tied up legally to each other, literally. Yikes. So you plug it in, how it resonates. This is not good. That's why I like being legally single. You ain't got to deal with all this drama and bullshit. Okay, I I didn't hear anything else. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. All right, well, I hope this helped you guys. I love you guys so much. Everybody made wonderful choices, and I'm going to say, if you think anyone else could benefit from these uh, my channel or the messages, please feel free to share my channel on your social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. It helps support a single mama, one of her income streams, single mom with two kids. So I really appreciate it. Love you guys. I'm going to say.